Vamos a comenzar con la segunda parte del primer episodio. Vamos a ver qué pasó, qué pasó. Ethan. Ah, por fin vamos a conocer a Ethan. I couldn't find him. Could you? Estoy atrás. Ok, ella claramente sabe dónde estoy. He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. No. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. Hola. I'm here. It's okay. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? Mira, yeah, I don't sure. want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maestro Tengren said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. Let me buy one of his pigs one. It was fun. It'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And what? he calls you a milksop. Guess who meets up? Sir Roland forgets pussy, himself. After all, you um, are the lord of the house now. Well, I don't care what he says. Diga. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't sí, know. Exacto. But I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should, should let Sir Roland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then... And everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I promise. I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I 
make it have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Son of a bitch. Really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Pero yo soy el dueño de esta casa. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Duncan es el que Stay me mandó us. al muro, ¿no? He's Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. No. No. If I were you, I would command Ethan to stay wait, with wait. his family. Fine, if that's what's required of me. Very well then. Ryland me cae bien, pero tiene cara de malo. Y así, deje mis hermanitos que todavía no crecen. Ay. <risa> They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Yeah. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Yo no estoy seguro si sea conveniente pelearte con todo el mundo. Sobre todo si los protege, si los Bolton los protege. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. ¿Cómo te atreves? How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? ¿Qué clase de persona recibe a sus visitas con pan y sal? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little <laughs> fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on Tranquilo, us for generations. Tranquilo. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, no. things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Ah, él es el motherfucker. Él es el que puso la estaca en las pompas de la hermana de Gareth. Your Gareth. man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Mentiras! Attacked for no reason. Mm, no. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit that. it was your man who killed oh, my fuck. men. <laughs> and a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, no, Lord no. Ethan? He acted in your name. Como and respondes. you are the... Tú por tus hombres. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. 
You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving yeah, until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Oh, mommy. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. This... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Me voy a caer en silencio. Ethan is Lord of oh, Ironrath right. now. By rights his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this... house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. <laughs> then we'll see whose word is law. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're in the right, Lord sí. Whitehill. Remember that. Yeah. Remember it, bitch. The fuck out of my hall. The fuck out. Give me that. Yeah. <sighs> Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Se dado cuenta que me tiembla el ojo. Your sister can help us. Although just a hand made in she has es Marjorie Tyrell's favor, and Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay if it's presented to ah, her as it should be. Ah, la otra hermana. Son cuatro mil millones de hermanos. A ver. Ah, 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 puedo moverme. ¿Puedo moverme? Sí, ya está. Uy. Mira. Es una carta de mi mami. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Tengo que ayudar a mami. Ya terminé de leer porque sigo mirando eso. La puerta. Hola. Hola. Vamos a ver quién es. One moment. Oh, oh sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, no, no. Pasa, pasa, pasa. No, it's fine. Come in. Uh... Begging your pardon, my lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, that's it from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Mm. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, 
outside the royal sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy, Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Ala, eso fue demasiado rápido. Como que se encontraron, de hecho se encontraron y conversaron juntos. O se transformó y estoy seguro que es el mismo niño. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. Pero te a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. Dirás. What you've suffered is Está beyond bien. imagining. Oh, qué linda, and your poor family Gata, as well. Mujer. You're very kind, no. my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through together. this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Yo no soy un traidor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face okay. was full of nerves as she said. Okay. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. No. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Oh, no. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any Pero, conflict with Cersei with the wedding que, que so near. Decir. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. Puedo hacer eso tranquilamente. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Esa chica estaba atrás de nosotros todo el rato. No ha hablado nada de nada. 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 Y ella nos mira. Me digo él. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Como cuando te gusta. Good luck. Sientes una cosa, pero dices otras. Para que no te rechacen. You can do this. ¿no? Bueno, no hay nadie de ese tamaño que pueda hacer otra cosa. Creo que es Estirio. Estirio, mira. Estirio. Estirio. Y esa debe ser Cersei. Y estas son personas de aquí, cerrando. Que me están mirando el poto, seguramente. De todas maneras. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Mm. With your permission. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Oli. Ya, yeah. lo correcto sería arrodillarme. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Sí. Impressive. Sí. You may rise. Soy sí, impresionante. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Mm. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not Yo here, creo... is he? She is. Ah, ah, ah. 
The girl can speak for her house. Okay. House Forester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. No. Bueno, pero ellos eran nuestros guardianes. They were the wardens of the sí. north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did say the loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation. Yes, equivocation. Yet I question what she really thinks. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Mm. Roose Bolton also served the Starks, Your Grace. Uh -huh. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does mm. seem rather unique. Our talent is Todos unmovable, quieren nuestro Grace. Ironwood, no sé. Creo que es nuestra madera es especial. Ah, la que les estaba contando so al principio. Told. En la primera parte. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding ah, a bastard like in It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? No. No, estoy seguro de que ella lo lamenta mucho. I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. No. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted oh, by a northern no. girl who thinks she can play games. No, le gusta. Who do you choose? Mi rey, mi rey. The king, of course. El rey. Well said. Oh, fuck. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. Mm. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Creo que no le caigo bien. Of course, Your Grace. No le caí bien. No, no, me van a matar. Voy a morir. <laughs> I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. Ha! Uh -huh. You have my condolences for his loss. Bolton's These not will be no, 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 even the best of circumstances. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. 
That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. Mm. I was trying to appease her. Yeah. I think that was clear to everyone. <laughs> My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. <laughs> she threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. I wouldn't want to anger Cersei. And you'd be wise not to. But I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Hey. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Huh. Are you willing to risk that? Parcel PlayStation! Mm. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. Mm. The mere thought of them makes Gracias. me thirsty already. Gracias. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Cierto, muy muy cierto. La verdad es que me da mucho miedo no saber qué decir en esta parte del juego. Pero bueno, eh, ya nos pasamos de los 20 minutos que debería durar el capítulo, o mejor dicho este episodio, o la parte de este episodio. Eh, con esto los voy dejando y ya los estaré viendo el próximo video. Si les gustó o quieren seguir viendo otros videos de esto, por favor, no olviden dejar un like o suscribirse a mi canal. Muchísimas gracias, ya nos estamos viendo. Hasta el siguiente video. ¡Pum!